iPhone is the most loved smartphone in the world. And today we're welcoming a new member to the iPhone family. Apple CEO Tim Cook there at the company's spring 2016 product launch in California. Well, if you thought smartphones or tablets have been getting just a little too big to handle lately, then you'll be pleased with the new products Apple announced today, where it was affirmed that fast and powerful technology can come in smaller and cheaper packages. Well, our correspondent Mark New was there, and he joins us live from Apple HQ in Cupertino. So, Mark, tell us all about what was unveiled today. Rochelle, good evening from Cupertino, California. Just behind me is Apple's headquarters where they just had their big event. Uh, it's been the talk of the gadget world for quite some time that there are only so many sizes that you can make a smartphone, whether it's five, six, or seven inches. Um, smartphone make makers are running out of real estate uh, to sort of lay claim to. And Apple, instead of going in the direction of saying uh, a 7.14526 inch, uh, the greatest phone in the world, they decided to go in the opposite direction by downsizing. That's a beautiful road. At Apple, small is the new big. The company bucked the big screen trend and went retro, making its latest iPhone, as seen on the left, smaller. The new iPhone SE has a 4-inch screen, the same size as models Apple released more than two years ago, but with the same advanced features of its current devices. First, for some people, they simply love smaller phones. We found that for a lot of these customers, it's their first iPhone. And in some countries, like China, it's the majority of these customers who it's their very first iPhone. The problem we have right now is the smartphone market is saturated. And so now it's all about lifetimes, and you have to encourage people to upgrade. There are a lot of people with older phones who didn't see a path forward to upgrade because they like the screen size. This gives them that path. You know, I think it'll sell reasonably well in China and India, but, you know, in China, for example, they actually prefer larger screen so phones. So India, I think it may be an interesting opportunity because there's not as clear a preference for large sizes there. Apple also downsized the new iPad Pro. It has a 9.7-inch screen more than three inches smaller than its predecessor. All eyes were also on Apple to see if the company would address its recent clash with the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Apple has refused an FBI order to write code to unlock an iPhone that was used by a shooter in last December's San Bernardino terrorist attack. We did not expect to be in this position at odds with our own government. But we believe strongly that we have a responsibility to help you protect your data and protect your privacy. We owe it to our customers and we owe it to our country. And we will not shrink from this responsibility. Apple also played up its efforts to be a responsible corporate citizen in other ways, touting new medical and eco-friendly technologies. It introduced a research project called Liam, essentially a robot that can tear apart an iPhone piece by piece to salvage materials that can be recycled for use in future products. So the, materials inside the, the iPhone SE starts at $399. That's about $150 less than the next model up, the iPhone 6. And also speaking of slashing budgets, the Apple Watch actually reduced its price. Uh, they have yet to also... Uh, by about $50. They've yet to reveal details about how many they've sold, although they are cutting the price. Now, also, a hearing over Apple's refusal to unlock their iPhone uh, of the San Bernardino shooter uh, was expected to go to a court hearing tomorrow. Apparently, the U.S. Department of Justice asked to postpone that hearing, indicating the FBI, FBI may have found another way to unlock that phone. A judge has granted that request. Rochelle. All right, lots to keep an eye on there. Mark New from outside Apple HQ.